Lori, Lawson and I decided to go quad biking and we found a page on Instagram called ATV Ebri that organizes quad biking. It took us about an hour drive from Accra. The best part of the journey is the beautiful landscape you see while on your trip. So, you guys, this is us. We've gotten to, we've been using the off-road even though I drive a small car. There is nobody in sight at the moment and guess what? We are stuck here. We don't know. This is a stream. I don't know if I should if I should cross and get stuck because it looks very slippery as you can see from here so the only thing is, is either lorry walks in it and ah, tests why don't you? the water <laughs> or me because I'm the one driving and she doesn't have a choice so she's taking off her shoes she crosses it to see if it's not deep if it's not deep they will go if not then I don't know because we are like how many minutes are we about like two minutes or three minutes. A motor guy. Met me ako. Can't end to me go. This is disasters of a trip, guys. Guess what? I have a flat tire, and we are stuck here waiting for this. So we are finally here to pick us. Hey, hello. You're We're welcome, stuck. Madam. Thank you. Reflector checked. Helmet checked. Costume checked. So guys, do you remember where we got tagged? This is the place we got tagged. Yeah, so we are finally here. This is how the space looks like. We are going to be giving a little tips and brief about everything how everything is going to be like so stay tuned as we relax here how do you feel lori oh i feel good i can't wait to experience the whole <laughs> biking experience <laughs> so flight tie or no flat tie we are doing Quad biking is a huge amount of fun adrenaline pumping huge excitement however we should not forget that those are essentially motor vehicles and we've got to treat them with respect. With that in mind, there are a number of rules that we insist on for all our customers who come here. The first rule is no overtaking. And I'll explain why when we look at the terrain. The second rule is do not, under any circumstances, use your telephone to take pictures or do selfies whilst you're riding. The third is about breaking distance, making sure that there is a safe breaking distance between you and the person in front. So don't go and carry somebody's talk, that's to be out of the question. The fifth is about members of the community. And for that, what we're saying is you can wave at the kids and whatever, but please do not stop to chat to them or touch any of them, yeah? And the final one is when you take our quad bikes out, You've got to follow the instructions of the lead rider. In addition to that, do not under any circumstances leave your quad bike alone and go walk about. If you want to take pictures or whatever, they will stop for you. But throughout, you're not alone. You're accompanied by two of my people at all times, one at the front, one at the back. We're all in constant radio contact, so we know precisely where you are, what's happening, etc. So, she just taught us how to um, ride the bike, the basic steps in um, learning how to, it's very easy you shouldn't be able to ride a bike to even know how to ride once you listen to her it's very easy to understand so Lori is on her lesson now I'm, I just finished with my lesson and so I passed the check so I'm good to go
hope you are enjoying the video so far. <laughs> It's lorry falling down <laughs> and <laughs> come come are you ahead? Yeah. You're ahead? Yeah. Oh heading towards the waterfall now the waterfall is called Bugom waterfalls but this experience has been fun it has been <laughs> it has been a lot of words because if you're an off-road person and you want to experience um, the Ghana off-road life my dear please you need quad biking in your life because it's really fun it's really I thought I was going to be dirty but I still look clean and so yeah let's go to the waterfall One thing I like about exploring waterfalls in Ghana is the fact that you see greens even before you get to your destination. Guys, just listen to the sound. I'm sure you can even hear the sound of the waterfall already. Listen closely. Yeah, so, so far. Hey, you can see some KK party. Hey, should we join you? Should we join you? Do you want to be on camera? Uh, but there's some kinky party going on. Yeah, Shy! <laughs> After the waterfall, we'll come and join them to eat. Yeah, Kwaba! <laughs> so yeah, those are some guys who just came to chill. And they are having a break, a smoke break and also chilling. Guys, look at this. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful.
excited. We are heading, we are climbing back to go get our, um, our bike and consider the journey back. This waterfall, it's my first experience and I think it's another beautiful waterfall you should see. And so yeah, so oh, let's go guys. was not easy at all was it worth it a big yes so we are done we are now heading towards um, where we started and of course you're obviously coming with me let's go The best part and I told her when we got to the rocky parts yeah. like that and then she asked me if I like it rough I said yeah I like it rough yeah. <laughs> I'm not a bad girl <laughs> yeah yeah but I think guys this was worth it yeah, initially initially when we were coming we we're like oh it's expensive but this I was so is worth it no, I, was, I was like oh it's expensive but well we said it was it started from 250 and yeah. boom, and boom 350. 350 so yeah so yeah. we paid we both yeah. paid 350 um oh. ghana cities for this um experience yeah. and once you get here you're supposed to deposit an amount of 300 ghana cities for damages in case there is a fault or you fall or you break something on the bike that's the funds that goes to them right auntie yeah so that's the reason why you have to deposit 300 cities. so when you're coming carry cash because we have to use more money and the network here is terrible so you don't want to be like us so i'm heading back to where we parked our car and just when i decided to fly the drone with a flat tire right my rider Iliasu is helping us pump this time I have a special 
spare tire but let's see if the problem is um, from the air if it is i think maybe it might have been a glass or something so this is a manual that's an experience and this man here helped us park his uh, our car in front of him hello big boss let's say so guys, when you also come here, make sure you come with um, a repellent, a re mosquito repellent. We didn't. Look at what happened to Lori. So many. Look at an insect bit, bit her here. And so many places. Fish. Wow. Look. I'm still eating. I think I'm the lucky one here with no insect bites and still looking fresh. <laughs> yeah. You will feel it afterwards. <laughs> While I'm getting my car fixed. Yeah. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video i'm super excited thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoy documenting um the entire experience this experience was with laurie lawson yeah. you all know laurie lawson yeah, she has been on my channel <laughs> several times laurie because say something to I'm your, your adventure buddy okay. i always see adventure and i'm like stella are you in and she's like yeah when i put the date we are here so guys check out my channel as well I'm an amazing, annoying person, but a sweetheart. <laughs> you love me, you love me. So I also you do... definitely love Once I love Laurie, you love me. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, we are heading back to um, Accra. It took us um, about an hour drive from Accra. And if you drive a small car like mine, when you get to the town, um, the town very close to when you realize you have like five minutes to the, the ATV. Um, venue just pick a motorbike don't stress because when i did i had a flat tie don't be like me don't be like me yeah. unless you have like um um a four by four or an off-road um kind of um vehicle then i'm sure you can come it's an off-road experience so don't expect to be clean because you're going to be dirty we went through mud and it's always raining here and so expect that there's going to be rain yeah when we came it wasn't drizzling but right now it's, it's, it's drizzling and now. it's fun when you go through the rain yes and it's fun when you come with your friends don't yeah, come alone, alone yeah. come with a group of friends because yeah. that way you get to take more pictures of yourself mm -hmm. and it took us an hour um from it. here yeah. to the waterfall and back and it's really exciting yeah. i will recommend this i will recommend yeah, yeah. will you recommend definitely definitely yes. definitely until next time on my video guys subscribe ah! subscribe ah. subscribe <laughs>